Yo, what's up? So today, um, I just carried some leftovers, and this is what it is. It's just some mac and cheese, corn roll, and um, some butter. And I just came out here and I got this mac and cheese, and I straight uh, put it on a little brim hook. Let me tell you, if you ain't ever tried this, you need to. Cause mac and cheese, preferably like this kind right here, it's it's the bomb. I have like I have like three brim, three or four brim in the cage right now that I've caught. But I just wanted to show y'all how we've been catching them. So all I have to do is just come right here. Throw it out like that and just let it sit and then it don't take no time till the bobber goes down. I'm already getting nibbles. It don't stay on that well, but I got a lot of it, so it don't really matter. Just pitch it out there. And then bring in a nice little broom. There you go. Just like that. We already got one. We already got one. Take out the rag. I'm not scared of them. It's just I don't feel like getting finned. I choked it. But. Right there. That's all I've been catching. Just a little broom. And then I'm just going to. Oh, where is it at? Put it in that net right there. Or your bucket. Then just come through here. That was my fifth one. So, I don't know how many I'm going to catch, but I kind of want to go back over to my grandma's, the bigger pond, and uh, put on a circle hook or something, throw it out there, and see if I can't catch a big old bass or catfish or something with the live bait. I just got another one. It's it's so simple. So simple. Then you just take out your rag. If you don't want to get thin. That dude already released himself. Come right here. Take him. Just a little broom like that. Just drop him. And then take him. Put him in the bucket. So, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna repeat this process. Hold on. All right, I'm gonna repeat this process. Uh, so enjoy the time lapse.
the broom right here that's going to be used for live bait and now we just have to go inside rig up to use live bait you know you gotta rig up and then we're gonna head over to my grandma's house and try to see if we can't catch them you know catch a big old bass or catfish let's get it now let's let let's go all right so we just made it out to the lake as you can see right here made it out to the lake and i'm gonna use the live bait that i got put on the hook and guys it out there so i'm gonna show y'all i didn't bring my tripod so this is the best it's gonna do um so i got my live bait right here um, so here's the fish. We're just going to take it. I got a hook to a weight. It's just like a drop shot style rig up it's like here's the weight there's the hook and uh, b here's the fish so i'm gonna just get anything Somehow, my open face reel had a knot in it, or like, you know, like them little whoop things that you have on your spinning reel. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna cast it out there. Hopefully, this time I don't swing it off like I did last time. Alright, she's cast it out there. Well, I just reel up my slat, and I'm actually going to put uh, some more water in this bucket, but I just reel up my slat, let the broom do the work. Lines are tight, so now I'm going to do a little bass fishing and wait. We got one. Buddy wanted the fish head. Buddy wanted the fish head. Holy crap. That's a chunky one. Buddy wanted the fish head bad. That's how you do it right there. That's a good one. I just got the fish head and put it on there. 
That's a good little catfish. I'm going to go release him. There he goes. Same bait. Throw it back out there. See if we can't get another one. Well, I'm going to just get, get back to bass fishing and keep watching the poles.